Pits. She's the victim. Okay, stash her and put him in holding and I'll get on it as soon as I can. You got it. Let's go. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Come on. Watch out, dude. Times do I have to tell you? We got the procedure and we gotta follow it, okay? No, it's not okay. Look, all I want is I want my purse and I want to go home, but how can I? You have my keys, you have my money, I can't even take the subway. Lady, lady, give me a break. We do things as fast as we can. Now, you wait here, we'll call you. Are you okay? No, I'm not. You ever have a black eye before? What? Why, are you a doctor? No, no, I'm an attorney. My name's Edward Moran. What are you in here for? 
Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, what did you do? Me? Hmm. I didn't do anything. I, I was mugged, and then I was hit in the face. And I've been sitting here for two hours without even a drink of water. Me? I'm not a criminal. Back home, we didn't even have to lock our house. Here, you never even know who you're talking to. I tell you what, you give me a smile and I'll get you out of here. Is that a deal? I don't feel like smiling. It'll make my face hurt. That's too bad. Guess I'm gonna have to get you out of here anyway. This car is yours? Yeah, haven't you heard? Big lawyers have big cars. Yeah. This ought to bring you around. Um. Oh, it's only Brandon. It's okay. You're lucky you weren't killed, huh? <laughs> How long have you been in New York? Um, 11 months. And you're single from Indianapolis and you work for Zenware Fashions. How did you know that? I'm a psychic. I read poems. Really? No. I was with the death sergeant when he went through your purse. I should walk you to your door. Oh, no, no. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll be fine, really. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, thanks again. Thank you. What for? I don't have the slightest idea. What? It must be something. the bottom piece the actual shell of the blouse. It can be added later and therefore it could be three or four different designs all sewn to the same shell. Terrific. Now could we make this shell out of a cheaper material? I don't think so. To match the cloth we'd what? have to special order and so we lose. My frio! Por Dios! She says she's cold. I yeah, will tell her it's a lot colder out in the street. Now, by adding a waistband and three seams and a couple of buttons here. We have an ensemble. More cloth and labor. You're playing my tune, Toots. You want to go for a cut? Sure. I'm going to speak in Ethan. Okay, I figure they want to go. Nine ninety five a piece. Take off their thirty percent. Drop to seven dollars. One buck for miscellaneous. If we don't beat six dollars, we're gonna lose the contract. Well, can we do it? Oh, sure. If we have new machines and more girls. All we can do is bid five eighty five. Go for it. Best we squeak through. Worst we close the doors. Him. Oh my God, it's him. It's him? Oh. You mean it's him? Yes, him. Oh. 
Oh, my God, look at me. Hi, am I, uh, am I interrupting something? Yeah, we were just gonna sit down and play a game of highlight. I'm Sylvia. Hi. Where'd you leave your horse? Uh, my name's Edward, and who's, wh what horse are we talking about? Well, the way I heard it, the prince always comes on a horse. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, you should have told me that you were coming. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Fine? Really? Fine? Really, yeah. Really? Good. That's it? How are you? Fine? Really? Really? I thought you were going to ask her out on a date. Sylvia! Well, why? I mean, it's not so difficult. Yes, sir. Um, actually, I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought I'd stop by to see how Miss Winslow was getting along and to find out whether or not she'd like to have dinner with me tonight. Did you mention that it was a fancy French restaurant? No, I didn't, but actually, it's a uh, very good idea. N no. Uh, I'm, no? I'm sorry. I have a lot of work to do. I have to get this proposal oh, in. Oh, Baloney, the man says you need a meal. Sylvia, please. Oh, shut up, Toots. Get going. Sylvia. Go on. So a young girl with dream comes to the big city, takes her lumps and makes it, right? Oh. It? Yeah, that's it. Except I haven't made it. Well, not yet. Sometimes I think I'll just pack my bags and get back on the bus. Really? No, not really. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. No. Okay. There's part of me that really believes. And last but not least, I don't have anything to go back to. Nothing? Don't you have a family or something? No. No, I lived with my grandmother, and she died about a year ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, in a way, I'm glad. Selfishly. Here's something that I know. Pate foie gras. Uh, isn't that... Yeah, it's goose liver. Uh, oh, no. I'm not crazy about it either. I wish I could speak another language. Well, I'll tell you a secret. I speak Italian. Really? Yeah. Have you ever been to Italy? Oh, yeah, yeah, several times. Oh, God, I would love to go there. We'll go together. Not tonight, but, you know, sometime. Why not? I'm sorry. I... I guess I'm just a little old-fashioned. <laughs> it's okay. I 
think that's what I like about you. Besides, it's a little late. I better get up and go to court in the morning. Um, you're not married, are you? No. No, I'm not. I promise. Wonderful evening. Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Eh? What's your favorite color? Peach. Why? Resting. Yeah, and you, how are you? <sighs> you take your pills today, you didn't, did you? Who cares? Today is what? my new grandson come to visit. <laughs> I can't wait. Mom, I, I that's get why excited. You take the pills, Edward, though. darling, if you tell somebody her name, maybe they could introduce her. Oh, I'm them. sorry, Jean, you're right. Excuse me. Uh, Marion? This is uh, my mother. Mama, this is Marion Winslow. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And I'm Eddie's uncle. Hi, Sal. You call me Sal. Hi. Nice to meet you. You know, you get us all the iron and you get tired of looking at the same faces all the time. You got a nice one. Oh, thanks. You know, Sal used to work in the garment business. Yeah, I had a big yeah. plant in Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, right about you'll 100 talk people. your ear off. Come on. <laughs> I'll go see about the food. Okay, okay Mark. Go. I'm good. I'm good. Listen, mm -hmm. I'll talk to you a little later, all right? Hey, Frank, come here. Eddie. How you doing? Oh. Listen, I want to introduce you to somebody. Uh, Frank, this is Marion Winslow. Marion, this is my big brother, Frank. He's not bad for an old guy. Oh, God, I'm kidding. You're, you're young. You're young. I'm just kidding, okay? Golden Boy's told us a lot about you. We're flattered he finally decided to bring you in. Oh, thanks, Frank. Oh, and Gina, you already know Gina. She's a terrific girl. She blew it all by marrying Mr. Wonderful Hair. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh. Hey, how's this kid gonna grow up if you blind her old oh, man? Come on, one more, one more. Hey, Uncle Sal, come on. Come on over here, take one, just the three of us. Come on, come on, look. Oh, God, amiga. Well, when are you gonna settle down and give me some grandchildren like your brothers, huh? What do you mean, Ma? I got 14 orders. They haven't been delivered yet. Yeah, I don't see them before me. Be right back. Mary, we gotta go up to the house for a minute. We gotta go see Pop, all right? Be right back. Oh, come on. Come on, I'll take care of it. All right, thanks, Jean. Be right back. I remember the first time I came here. I looked as lost as you do. Come on, I'll show you around. Nice having such a big family. Well, on the holidays, when the other half shows up, it gets to be a uh, bit much. 
You haven't met them, have you? Uh, no, I hadn't met anyone until today. Everybody seems very nice, though. Friendly. I don't think this is just so new to me. I don't, uh, I don't quite know how to explain it. I wonder how much longer Eddie's going to be. Oh, when they start talking, you go on for hours. Hours and hours. You know, I didn't know that they worked together. Oh. They have a lot of investments. Eddie doesn't talk much about his work. I think he thinks it bores me. He told Frank you're a dress designer. Is, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I still have a lot to learn, though. That's what I wanted to be. I studied. I went to art school. I draw. I still draw. Really? We should come down to the plant sometime. I mean, who knows? If business gets better, maybe you could even come work with us. <sighs> Frank would lock me in my room before he'd let me get a job. Funny, Eddie's not that way. Eddie's different. He's the idealist. He's not like the others. Boy, God, he, Frank, Vinny, they go at it sometimes. You're different, too. So when are you getting married? What? Uh, married? Yeah. Well, um, I, uh, what, what makes you think that we're going to get married? He must have settled down, and I can't remember the last time he brought a girl home to meet Mama and the family. Well, we really haven't known each other very long. I know dear Eddie pretty well. He moves fast, gets what he wants. I never met anybody like him. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, it's just... It, it's crazy. It's going too fast. And I feel like I'm totally out of control. Drunk! Eddie makes me dizzy. Yeah, I've been dizzy all my life. Open it. I don't have the guts. The letter. The bid. The contract was awarded on a bid of 538. It's written down here in pen. Uh, very sorry about this, Sylvia. Signed, Judy. I always feel like Sam Spade when I do this. I'm afraid that uh, this could be it, Toots. I mean, that contract was make or break. Well, at least I own this building. You know, I can sell it and um, have something to eat up at my old age. But remember what you said about new girls and new machines? Well, sure, but God, you're looking at a... 150 grand, I can't raise money like that. And even if I could, I'd have to go out and find new contracts and then start moving again, and that takes time. And time is money, which we ain't got none of that either. Do you want a drink? No, thank you. 
Um, listen, uh, Eddie knows so many people, so many. Why don't you let me talk to him? At least let me try. Okay. Trix, you and me to... That's a long shot. And the short shot is that I go down the tubes and you... You gotta look for another job. No. Yeah. No. Don't say that. Oh, God, Mary. The, the day you answered my ad for a designer. This was one of the nicest days of my life. Losing this business is going to be a lot easier than losing you. Well, you know something? What? You're not going to lose me. Not ever. Don't you worry. I'm going to ask around. I'm going to, I'm going to find you another slot. And then when I do, I'm going to sock you 10% commission. Yeah, we're going. What? That's, what I don't want to walk in there. What's he in it? Well, hang on to me. You're going to I don't trust you. Oh, you got to trust me. You have no choice. Eddie, this is really crazy. I mean, what if somebody sees it? I have to buy the building. <laughs> I, come on, wait. Hold on. Wait. Okay, Stay right there. Where? Stay right there. Don't move. Don't, don't move. move. Don't move. Stay right there. Like this? Just like that. Okay. Here go. Give me here. Come on. Just follow me. That's it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, now, uh, right over here. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Okay, don't move. I gotta get this thing tight in the nut. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Surprise. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, Eddie, this is beautiful. I've been dying to show it to you. Do you like it? Like it? I had it redone for you. You, you, you did this for me. Yeah. You see, when I got it, it was oh, it was terrible. It was it was all brown and cream, and it just didn't look right. Well, you said peach, right? Because I remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I said peach. Yes. Oh. oh, God. What's the matter? Um. I, uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't handle this. I mean, it, you did this for me. Nobody ever did. Well, you don't have to handle anything. Just go with it, that's all. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. When you asked me what my favorite color was, you'd already made up your mind. Are you angry? How could I be? <laughs> just wish the world would go away just for a little while. Hmm. What well, upon a time, there was an ancient legend about a prince. Yeah, it's true. About a prince who was looking for his princess. He 
traveled everywhere until one day he saw And suddenly out of the sky came La Fandra, the thunderbolt. It strikes a man when he sees that one particular woman. And his heart instantly stops. And everything changes. And he realizes that the most important thing on earth is the possession of that one woman. You must have her, or he will be lost forever. Anyway, it's a loose translation, but <laughs> I think that's pretty close. Just physical between us. I mean, what? some days it's just gonna wear off, go away. I love you. Oh. Are you my prince? If that's what you want. You know what I want. Do you, Edward, take Marion as your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. Marion, do you take Edward as your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. May the Lord God accompany you and protect you in body and soul. After a long and happy life, may he make you worthy to hear from him. These words come blessed by my Father and inherit eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss the bride. present to you Mr. and Mrs. Edward Moran.
Maybe you're not Italian, but you make my Eddie happy. So you cook pasta and have many babies. All comes out good. <laughs> now, you call me Mom. I'll try. Mom. <laughs> Tu sei una bellissima ragazza. Thanks, Ma. Oh. Ma è domenica, Marianna. Qui va, piano, va, lontano. Benvenuto alla famiglia. Molto sonno, contento io. Which means, it's nice to have you in the family. <laughs> If you take uh, everything uh, slow and easy, day at a time, it works out well in the end. Thank you, Uncle Sal. Thanks, Sal. Hey, Toots, you want to dance? Oh, go on. What do you I mean, go on? Come on. Dance. We're dancing. Oh. We're dancing. Let's go. Oh. You too. You too. Oh. Gotta get the rhythm. Gotta get the rhythm. I have the rhythm. That's it. That's it. Okay, turn. Come to the right. Turn. Big turn. Big turn. Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, I want to uh, introduce you to somebody. To Marion, my new bride, and to your new partner. My new? Yeah. Well, I found $160,000 lying around dying for a slot in the rag trade. Oh, my God. Do I get a yes or a no? I don't oh. know all that. Oh, Quick, yes. yes or no, what? Yes. Give me a hug, yes. come here. <laughs> Time like this, you gotta be here. You got no right, no right. You wanna take pictures? I give you something to take pictures of. You leave us alone. Leave us alone. Come. That's what you want. Come. Come. You wanna do something? Go after muggers, rapists who stick a knife in your throat. Leave decent people alone. Leave us alone. Eddie. Who are those men? Mary, and our family's very well to do. When you're on top, there's always somebody trying to knock you down, okay? There's nothing for you to worry about. Come on. that a human being could be this happy. You mean that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many women dream of having a man like you? I'd have to say billions, probably. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you are so conceited. I know, I you know. Are so, come here, give me this. But, give me you this. know, I have to tell you something. What? And you know, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how much I love you, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to tell you that you have the boniest elbows of any woman I've ever known. I They're do? killing me, yeah. I'm sorry. No, but I know, don't. It's all right. Next time I'll just marry a woman with, uh, who has <laughs> fat elbows. Oh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, let me tell you something. Mm. You know, when you marry fat elbows, mm -hmm. a whole fat person comes with them. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't, I don't I'm tired of your gorgeous body anyway. Uh huh. I am. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am too. Mm -hmm. I am too. Uh, 
Do you remember what I said? About what? About the physical. Yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't work. Get worse. Okay. Gets worse and worse. <sighs> Why does it have to be right now? Okay. Okay, you know, no, I understand. I'll be there. I won't say thanks for the phone call. What is it? I have to go to Miami. What? I have to go. Miami. When? Now. Now? Yep. Well, for how long? I don't know. Eddie, talk to me. What's there to talk about? There's nothing you need to know. Well, I want to know. Mary, it's just business, okay? That's all it is, just business. Well, business is a big part of your life. Now, please don't shut me out. It's nothing you need to know, okay? Back and forth, back and forth. You have a problem with this machine? No, no problem. It's okay then. See, the new machines are good. Much better than the old ones. I like them. Cambio la bobina ahora para los cinco ocho para comer los los botones. I guarantee it. No problem. Your dog talking to a problem. Just send us what you want copied. We'll do the rest. You're dumb. You're dull, Judy. Thanks. Marion! Oh, God, a miracle. What? Miracle. It's, it's a miracle. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Oh, you know, that company that underbid us at 538, they can't fill the order. And Judy wants us what? to bail her out. Oh. Uh, now, if Sal can just really get that cause, you I know, can get it. Good as done. Then we're going to start making some money as of the end of next week. Let's put some root on your cheeks. We're going to celebrate with a zillion calorie gooey dessert, and then we're going on a shopping spree at the Mart, and we'll walk it off, huh? I'll get Aldo down here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't bother. We're going to walk off. Don't bother. Hey! Hey. Look, I'm sorry. New York is a tough town. If you go out on your own and something happens to you, I'll never forgive myself. Please, for me. Let me call Aldo. Fine, yeah. Yeah, Aldo. Yeah. Yeah, get down here. We're going to lunch. Of Egyptian cotton in the building. Oh, yes, upper level. You can take the elevator right over there. Thank you. Now, I know we can't afford to use the Egyptian, but it's so gorgeous. I just want to do the new prototype series in it and keep them all for me. For you? Yes. How about me? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see 
Go. Oh, come on, Seth. No, no. No. I'm staying, and the only place I'm going is up, so please take your hand off the door. Go on. You know, I know I shouldn't get irritated, but sometimes good old Uncle Sal really gets on my nerves. Yours. I know he spent his life in the trade, but one has to wonder where. Well, Eddie said he made uniforms? Figures. Did you see that crap that he's bringing in from Mexico? Uh, those beads? Yep. I thought he was kidding. No, he's not kidding. We import him and then we sew him onto these little fancy shells and then we unload him by, by taking him around to uh, flea markets all over the city. Not only that, he wants to use the label. I said, no way. I said, if we're going to do it, then we're going to get another label and we're going to call it Hitch Fashions. I said he thought that had a nice European ring. That's great. Right what? now. What do you mean we're leaving? We're going. him down. Now, I want to know what's going on. Is, is he supposed to be my bodyguard? I want to know. <sighs> please. Will you please just talk to me? Eddie! Sorry I have to wake you like this, Marion. But we have to get everybody to Mama's house immediately. Now you pack a bag with whatever you think you're gonna need. You got five minutes. Are you crazy? No. I have my orders. And I carry them out to the fullest. Five minutes.
you okay? Me, I'm fine. <laughs> Rudy's so beautiful. <sighs> I wish he could stay this age forever. <sighs> I hear they went for you today. Is that true? It is. Benito, go inside. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it more modern. Manja. Eddie wants me to make sure you get nice room. His room upstairs. That way he think of you where you are. How long do we have to stay here? Long enough. We cook together. I teach you to make real bread. Pane Siciliani. You like that? Hm? How long? Mariana, nobody knows how long. Nobody. It's very nice, Rudy. Well, thanks. <laughs> I know you're angry, even if you're too nice to say anything. I should have told you what you were getting into. I wanted to, but I couldn't. We have to keep our mouths shut, even among ourselves. About three years ago, there was a girl married to Johnny. Johnny's one of the guys who works here. And she started talking about the family in public, about who was who, who did what, where the money came from. And then one day, she just disappeared. Are you saying what I think you're saying? 
down to one of the rules. If a husband can't control his wife, he won't be trusted to control men. Johnny had no choice. Oh, my God. Tina, you're talking about the Stone Age. Mary, nothing about this family is new. Did you... Did you... know... before you were married? I grew up in the neighborhood. You... You just always knew. Like the guys who were connected, had money. Give you the best time. It was glamorous. Like the movies. And who knows? Maybe what he does is part of who he is and turn me on. I'll never forget that first limousine ride. After that, I was hooked. How do you deal with it? You don't. You, you push it out of your mind. I read a book once that said people only see what they want to see anyway, so... But... But you live in fear that... One day they won't come home. I have dreams about Frank. Terrible dreams. Oh, I... oh. It's okay. It's all right. Oh. I love him. Oh. I love him. I'm not strong anymore. I don't know how much longer I can hold myself together. But when we get out of here, we'll just leave right now, you and me together. You can't leave. I can't stay here. I can't, Gina. I, I, I have to go. I, I can't. I mean, it just, it, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I can't do it. I won't be a prisoner. Hello, Gina. How's it going? You could at least introduce me to Mrs. Moran. He's with the FBI. Name's Lou DeLuca. The computer in my office tells me there's going to be some kind of, uh, well, confrontation. We know the players in the game, but we don't know the where or when. Yeah, if we did, we could stop it, but we don't. We do know that the Moran brothers made a little mistake in Miami. And some of their Cuban friends want to return the favor. Which is why they went for you the other day. And nobody wants to talk about what you'd look like if they pulled it off. Shouldn't be out here alone. You better get back up to the house. Jim. Help us. And we'll help you before it's too late. Where's Frank? Tell us, and maybe, just maybe, we'll have enough pieces to put the brakes on. Gina, there's going to be killing. No. How can you have any loyalty to these people? To them. You think you owe them for what they've done to you? Shut up. You're throwing your life away. And for what? A few romantic crumbs from the table of a guy who isn't worth... He's my husband and I love him. Okay, Jim. Here. Here, take it. Open it. Frank, your loyal husband? 
We never did get the name of the ladies. It's... They're fake. They're glued together. I... See that little thing you want? They're real. You don't know it. But the difference between you and Gina is only a matter of time. If you stay in the program. Listen, when you need a friend, remember Lou DeLuca. Call, and I'll be there. Isn't DeLuca an Italian name? That's right. A lot of people have Italian names. Real people, decent people. Um, I'm sorry, I meant... I know what you mean. But the fact remains that a few of those bastards make the rest of us look bad. Believe me. What you become in life isn't stamped on your birth certificate. Don't forget this, huh? How you doing? I was getting worried about you guys. Any changes? No, we're going to the wall. Guys from the bank get here. Yeah. So, where's Mary? Down by the Grove. Marion? Where have you been? You lied to me. You said you were a lawyer. I am a lawyer. And what else? But what else doesn't concern you or us? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist? No, it doesn't. Well, then I guess this is this has all just been a really big practical joke. No, it's no joke. Well, then, if it doesn't exist, there's no reason for us to stay in prison here, is there? Well, that's, that's wonderful news. I'm going to go up to the house, I'm going to pack my bag, and have Aldo take me into the city. You know, you spend too much time with Gina. She puts ideas in your head. That woman's a lush. Well, how did she get that way? Why didn't you just tell me about this right from the start? Would you have married me? Huh? What? What did you, do you think that this was just going to go on? That I was never going to find out? I just, I just thought you'd eventually understand and accept like the others. I thought about, and all I still think about is you. Now, anything after that is just a dumb conversation. So let's go back up to the... No! No! This is not just a dumb conversation. You want me just to forget about everything that I think is right and wrong? Well, I can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't live like the rest of them paranoid. I can't do it. What, what do you want from me? What the hell do you want me to do? I want you to walk through that gate with me, and I never want us to come back here. Oh, is that what you want? Yes! Oh, I see. I want us to just, to get a house and just live like real people do together. That's what I want. I was hoping it'd be something easy, like maybe cut off my hand. Marion. I don't want to lie to you. 
Look, I thought about leaving all this behind, believe me, more than once. I thought about trying to be someone else, but I don't know how to do that. This is my family. You understand? Together, we can try. Well, you don't know what you're asking. You have no idea what we would be up against. I told you, Marion, there are rules. Rules that nobody can break. No, no, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about rules. Because I know. I know that together, we can do anything.
I don't want to talk about this anymore. Vincent, I told you it's over once and for all. I can't believe you're saying this. Have you forgotten Frank? Frank's going to be in front of my eyes every day for the rest of my life. Now, they paid for Frank. They paid plenty, and you know that. It's not enough. It's not enough for me. So killing 50 more is not going to bring him back. Maybe not, but we got to teach him a lesson. Benito, you listen to me, all of you. Now, this thing is over, and it's time to move on. No, Eddie. I want us to go back down there. Eddie, that's it. That's enough. We're going to do this thing my way, and that's all. Why don't you come along with me on this one? Come on. All right? All right. Come here. Come here. All right. We're going to talk more tomorrow. Let's cheer up. Try and put it behind you. What should I do? You're asking for advice from a dame who's never been with anybody but Sidney Zimmerman. Look, you gotta analyze it. Now, um, Eddie is handsome, he's smart, he's rich, he's got a good career going for him as a lawyer. He can dance away the night. He can drive you around in a big black car. He can make you laugh. I mean, he's a regular Clark Gable. Just one little flaw. Clark has a little leprosy. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, leprosy is very contagious. Don't mix them up. Keep it, right? I mean it. Another shipment? How come? Well, we got good and tooled up. If we run out of these, we're in trouble. See how they're selling? Yeah. I'll never understand it. I would have bet good money against it. You'd have lost your shirt. I won't argue that. Then don't.
Do you love me? Yes. But not like before, right? Too many things get in the way. You get rid of them. They're not my things. They're yours. I can't do anything about that. His brother is a pharmacist. Did me a favor. This is coke, Marion. These bastards have been bringing in cocaine from Mexico and running it through our business. Cocaine. What do you have to say to that, Prince? Is that true? He's always up to something I should have known better. How could you? Look, it's not me. I don't get anywhere near that stuff. I don't want to know about it, all oh, right? Oh, Ball! You don't expect either one of us to believe a word you say, do you? And let me tell you something. If it weren't for Marion, I wouldn't be here. I'd be talking to the cops. Now, I want that garbage out of my plant. I want Sal out of my plant. And I want it now. Or I'm going to blow the whistle. I'll see what I can do. I don't want your conversation. I want it out. It's not as simple as that, Sylvia. The hell it isn't. You tell your family to get their fannies over there and to get it out. It's not just our family. Everybody's in on this one, and some are big. Bigger than all of us. So if I were you, I wouldn't make waves. Oh, don't threaten me. I'm too old to care. I want it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorrier than I can say. I'm going to leave Eddie. Figures. You want to come and stay with me for a while? Thanks. I haven't gotten that far yet. Sylvia, what are we going to do about those beads? I mean, Eddie won't talk to me. It's like he's hiding from me. Don't worry. I am taking care of I saw Benito's face. He 
he pushed her. He killed her. But I, uh, I still didn't want to come here. I just wanted to get on a bus and disappear. And then I started thinking about Sylvia. And what they did to her. And what she'd want me to do. If she hadn't called the police, do you think she'd still be alive? They would have killed her anyway. That's it for now, Tina. Thanks. What about me? I'm not as brave as she was. I'm scared. You don't have to be. We won't let anything happen to you. How far are you prepared to go with this? How far do I have to go? Depositions, and down to actual testimony in court. The entire works. With you, we'll get everybody. First, we'll get you settled. Tonight, we'll put you in a hotel. Now, don't worry. You're in official protective custody. Someone will be with you at all times. But I, I, I don't have any of my things, my clothes. We'll see that you get new ones, whatever you need. Tomorrow, we'll take you to a place in the Berkshires and do some paperwork. And then we go to work on building you a new life, somewhere where they'll never find you. Okay? Larry, tell Ernie to bring the car around, will you? The usual place. And stay with her until I get there. The rooms are better. They're not much better. Four twelve, please. Thank you. Is she here? I haven't seen her. Let me in. I can get a warrant, Gina. Let me in. Harry, check the bedrooms. What's happened? Marion agreed to cooperate with us. And she's disappeared. Do they have her? 
Probably. Where would they take her, Gina? I don't know. I need help. I don't know. The last time I asked you, people died. I need help. I don't know. God, I don't know. The bedrooms are clean. I'll check outside. Forget it. She's not here. I know you two are very close. <sighs> so long, Gina. I'll see you later. Lou! If anything happens to her, you call me. I will. The other wives. You never were. I should have known better. Hmm? You killed Sylvia. It was an accident. Did I say it was? I told you, Marion. I told you there are rules. It all seems so long ago. Oh, what a fool I was. I believed. I believed in Cinderella, the prince. I believed in everything. You know. You did the first time we met. We had it all. Yeah. We did. I don't understand. No, you don't. I don't want you to ever forget that. <laughs> 